Hello and welcome to Yenderes Are Us, where the girls hold you so dear you'll scream in fear. Before we continue, I am legally obliged to inform you that you have been put on a list just for entering our store. Don't worry, that's just normal procedure. My name is Juniper. Now what sort of freak can I offer you today? Not to shit again. Sir, you cannot take our entire stock. There is a strict limit of one yandere per customer. Incidents in the past of yandere harems have on numerous occasions led to bodily and mental harm for both the customer and unrelated parties. Furthermore, having more than one yandere is highly illegal, both at the federal level and also in regards to the Geneva Convention. Now, what single yandere can I interest you in? Yes, of course, I can give you a tour of our products right this way. On the left, we have Luna. She is by far the most tame yandere, being one of the few without a history of violence that we know of. She is a very intelligent girl, always seeking to quantify her love. For instance, measuring by what percentage her pupils dilate when looking at you or measuring how much her heart rate increases when near you. Right now, her living space doesn't exactly allow for that sort of scientific analysis, however, so you can note that she is counting. She is counting the hairs on your head so that she has a reference for hair loss at a theoretical future date. She'll say something along the lines of, that other girl caused you to lose 3% of your hair, indicating stress. You should cut off ties with her. Overall, Luna is among the finest yandere's we have available, and I highly recommend her. Especially for one not experienced with yandere's. Sir, please remain behind the red line. It is not safe any closer to her cage. The yandere's are head over heels for anyone who would actually want a yandere, so getting close can excite them to a dangerous degree. Sir, I am authorized to use force if you do not comply. <sighs> There's always one. There we go. Excellent. I'm glad we can cooperate. Now then... Shall we move on to the next yandere? This one is called Sophia. She is a bit more violent than the previous yandere we saw, but she is still far below average as far as yandere's go. She had a mildly violent episode in the past, but ever since then she has been on good behavior. Or at least she has had behavior as good as it gets. Yandere's. The most significant thing I can tell you about her is that she is highly delusional. She seems to think that everyone is just an alien pretending to be a human, which is completely bogus. I can confirm, because if I were an alien, I wouldn't be on this godforsaken planet. The silver lining is that she consistently acknowledges the customers as humans. Like I said, yandere lover means happy yandere. Yes, of course. The next yandere is right this way, sir. Her name is Emily. I wouldn't stare directly into her eyes too much. You might provoke her. You see, Emily is one of the more dangerous yandere's. She hasn't hurt any of the customers, but she has broken into their homes. 
In fact, I would make sure your window and doors are firmly locked tonight, regardless of whichever Gondere you ultimately go with. No, I am afraid that is not the case. Emily here has broken into customer homes after we acquired her. That means she has breached containment multiple times. To be honest, we are really keen on getting rid of her. She has been a real headache so far. At this point, we would much rather put her down. But that simply isn't possible. <laughs> the Yandere Rights Lobby would have our heads. Oh. The Yandere in the back? I don't think you want her, sir. That's Allison. She is by far our most dangerous yandere. She has 12 counts of murder, 36 counts of assault, and one count of arson. And she also has a few littering charges, but that isn't really important. We recently took her in after she killed her last owner. There was barely a body left. But that's what happens when the Yandere is a wolf girl. The former owner. She was trying to make her own Yandere harem. Illegally buying Yanderes from friends and family. In order to skirt around the regulation. As you can see, these regulations do exist for a reason. Her poor family. Allison? Nope. Nope. Stop clawing at those bars. Damn. She's actually getting out. Uh, I knew we should have gotten her the electric cage. But management always wants to cut corners. Get back, you sick freak! Back in your cage. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm sorry you had to see that, sir. Uh, here. Please take this as a consolation. It's a coupon for a free Yandere burger at the store restaurant. Uh, I recommend holding the, the pickles. You don't want to know. Uh, now, did any of the underays you saw today interest you? Oh, thank God you actually picked one. I mean, yes. We can ship her to your address right away. Payment? Oh, no. No, no, no. We pay you. This whole operation is heavily subsidized by federal money, you see. Just sign here. Ah, oh, and perfect. The sale is finalized. By the way, we have a no return policy. It was in the fine print. But anyway, I'm sure you must be almost as happy as your yandere, seeing as how you were always alone before this. Oh, how did I know that? Uh, hmm. Lucky guess? Please don't tell management. <laughs>